Hi, I'm Aaron. I'm Charity. Between me and my mom, right, we just, like, she always complained that I'm very picky, you know, and that, that's about it. Sometimes she, like, how do I put it, like, my parents, they have this habit where they, when they're hungry, you know, they get everyone to come and eat, right? But I understand they want to spend time and stuff, but sometimes, you know, I'm just not hungry. I have no appetite, so I don't want to eat. And then, like, they will complain that, oh, I'm very picky, but I don't know, I'm just not hungry. <laughs> Sometimes like they may be in a, I won't say bad mood, but not a very good mood. Like they're tired from a long day of work. Sometimes the, the tone and the words they say can, can be a bit snappish. Lah. And then they get a bit sensitive. And then that's where, you know, it can be a bit helpful when you're just trying to ask them things and then they just snap at you and stuff. Yeah. I think the most important thing in our family is that we don't like, we don't argue or we don't talk when we are very agitated because that's usually the time where we don't really have a control over the things that we say and then usually the things that we say start to become very mean and very hurtful to the other party. So I think for us, like if there's any issue that is really bothering us, it's giving us a lot of frustration. I think most of the time we would just take time off from the family, like take some time away and just take some time to calm down before we bring up the issue again. Yeah. I think sometimes you need to do a bit of compromising, I think, at the end of the day. Like sometimes like Let's say on the weekends, you know, they want to do something together as a family, but I have my own plans as well, right? So at some point, I think like you have to recognize that, okay, like you need to spend time with your family and stuff. So perhaps, you know, I let go of my, you know, my plans, you know, just to spend time with them and stuff. I think the important thing is also just communicate. Like, I think that's really important. Like, wherever that you feel that it's unfair or you feel that it needs to be brought up, you should just bring it up because I feel that sometimes if you let any unhappy feelings fester in too long, it may build up and it can cause it to explode and then this can lead to like greater arguments. And My parents, they only want the best for me. Like, they want me to have a good life. They want, they want to do everything that they can for their child and I think that's one of the reasons why I want to honor them as well because I know that they are trying very hard to provide a life for us that is as easy and as smooth sailing as possible. Lah. Growing up I think like you know, being a children and then a teenager like you want to be independent mm. you want to do things on your own you know you're trying to find out like your what you are you know what you want to do but I would say that Sometimes, you know, you can't always go at it alone. Like, I think sometimes you, you need your parents in a sense that in times when your friends are not there, or like, you know, you, you just need a, someone to talk to, or you just need a, a space to, you know, just heal and to rest. I think I would say one of the best places, I mean, at least for us, like, was mm. with our parents, right? Yeah. And yeah, like, it's, like, like I say, like the home, the family is where you can like take a break from the struggles of the world. I guess it's just helpful to know that your family is there to back you up, you know, when you are in need, right? Or when you are like going through like difficult times. Mm -hmm. I would say that's why, you know, it's important to have a strong relationship with your parents because I think, like what my sister says, I think they are the, one of the first few people that, you know, have loved you, like, you know, ever since mm -hmm. the day you were born. They, they are not perfect, but I think that's something that you can like never really doubt. Like, like their love for you, yeah.